Hey guys, so today uh, I wanted to make a bit of a different video. I wanted to make a modeling tutorial for 123D. So a while back, uh, my friend Noe Ruiz from Adafruit made a video on how to make a icosahedron for his talking D20 project. Um, today I'm making a video on how to make a dodecahedron, which is a different shape that has 12 sides and is made up of regular pentagons. All right, so here I have a page of uh, information about dodecahedrons. As you see, it's a platonic solid. It's made of 12 regular pentagonal faces. Um, what the information we need to know here is the dihedral angle. Now the dihedral angle is the angle that one side of it is to an adjacent angle. Uh, that's important because we're gonna be um, designing this by basically folding it into place, and we need to know the angle to fold it at. So the dihedral angle is taken from the outside of the, um, of the, of the solid, but we need to, since we're folding it inwards, we need to know the supplementary of that. I'll do the math for you. It's 63.43495. If you wanna make this, I suggest you copy it. It'll make it easier. So going into 123D here, Start off with a um, start off with a prism of the size you want. So I'm just gonna go with uh, a radius of ten. I'm gonna give it a height. Give it a height of around maybe like five, and then obviously five sides since it's made up of pentagons. So what you're then gonna want to do is copy and paste it so that you have twelve of the same pentagon. All right, so now that we have it copied, we're going to build the net of the dodecahedron. The net is basically if you were to unwrap the shape and like put it flat. So we're gonna arrange that by um, snapping, using the snap tool, all the sides together in a particular pattern. So once you've built this first kind of flower shape out of six of the pentagons, then you want to build that same exact shape attached to it. So like start building it off of that one. All right, so now that you've built this pattern of these two kind of flower shapes of these six pentagons each, 12 in total, you want to select them all and then you want to ungroup all. So this will separate it back into individual individual pentagons. That way we can fold them up. So here's where that dihedral angle thing comes into play. What you want to do is select one of the one of the pentagons that is not that is not the like kind of origin one there. Then you want to go to the move tool and then you want to press this start reorient button. What that'll do is that'll allow you to place the manipulator wherever you want in order to better control how you move the um, how how you move the object. So you want to place it on the edge that's connected to that center pentagon there, and then you want to press stop reorient, and then you're gonna want to rotate it on this axis by that number I had mentioned of. 63.43495. Also, it's, it's useful to copy that, as I said. Then just press enter, and you see that one's kind of folded down. So then you want to do that for all the rest of them on this kind of flower shape, except for the one that's connected to the other group of pentagons. All right, so once you've folded up those five, except for the one that's touching the other group, um, it should be looking somewhat like this. Now what you want to do is select that other group. Shift select is, allows you to select multiple at once, and you will basically want to do the same thing. Start reorient, place the manipulator, stop reorient, and then rotate it by that angle. So now it should look like this. 
and basically you want to do a similar action again. So select those six and instead of selecting that one with it, you're just going to select those and you're going to rotate them at the point where they meet that other one. So then you can rotate them in, in, in the right direction. By that same number. Sometimes it'll you'll have to add a negative or remove a negative in order to get it to fold in the right direction. It's pretty obvious, so just change as you need. So now you want to select all of do the basically the same thing again. Select all of them except the one we just put the manipulator on, and be sure to place it on the outside though. So then we can do stop reorient and we can bend it by the correct amount and it'll fold into place. Now we're basically all we have left to do is fold these last few the same way we folded the original few pentagons. All right, so once you folded them all up, it should start to be looking like a dodecahedron, and there are just two more steps you need to do. So that, then go to the merge option and select all of the individual sides of it that we've just folded up. So once you have all of them selected, just press enter and it should make them one solid. Now, if we make this transparent real quick, you'll see that due to the way we made it, it still has like a mini dodecahedron on the inside. So what you gotta do is basically zoom in and select at least three of the sides. And then all you need to do is press delete and it gets rid of that internal structure. And now you have a fully solid dodecahedron that you can like 3D print or do other stuff with for in a project. I had to make these for a upcoming robot that I'm building. So uh, stay tuned for that too. All right guys, well, if you like this video, uh, please leave a like, it, uh, it helps me out. And um, if you tell me what you think of videos like this in the comments below, this is kind of the first video like this that I've done. And I wanna do more of these cause I learned most everything I know about CAD and stuff from online tutorials. So I'd like to kind of give back in that way. Um, sorry if this video was kind of weird. This, as I said, this is my first time doing this. So just, uh, just stick with me and maybe you'll see better videos like this in the future. Anyways, peace out guys, XYZ Aiden out.